Engineers often use computer simulations in their design processes. The real-life situation is represented using computer software where variables can be changed, predictions can be made, and the risks and benefits of the project design can be determined without the high cost and timely manner of physically running the line. You are watching a manufacturing simulation of the skateboard assembly line which we just viewed. The orange objects passing through the line represent partially assembled skateboards. Each completely manufactured skateboard is represented in white and stacked on the pallet located to the right of Station 7. The red box below the pallet tallies how many skateboards have been completed. In the blue box to the bottom left of the screen, you see a clock representing the simulated elapsed time, which is not the same as real time. This simulation represents the assembly line in production for 36 minutes. Above the simulated time clock is a pink box indicating the average overall cycle time throughout the run. The column in the center displays the station cycle times, which is the amount of time it takes at each station to complete the assigned work on one skateboard. You should notice that the work at Station 4 takes much less time to complete than the other stations. Because of that, the skateboards get piled up before Station 5. This is called a bottleneck in an assembly line, which affects the flow of the product being manufactured. Also notice the red shirts of the workers at Stations 4, 6, and 7 occasionally turn gray, indicating that they are idle or not working at times. To the right of the cycle times is a table displaying the utilization of each operator. Utilization is a measurement of how busy the operator is. The closer that number is to 100%, the busier the operator. The most productive and balanced assembly lines will have operator utilizations that are about equal to each other and close to 100%. At the end of this 36 minutes in the base case simulation, 51 skateboards are produced.